All right, class, in this uh, video, we're going to go over some homework problems and give you some hints as to how these homework problems are working. We'll start with 16. Now, 16 uh, reads, suppose P and Q give the size of two different animal populations. Explain what each of the following expressions means in reference to the animal populations. Okay. So P and Q... are the number of animals in two populations. Okay. Now in part A, we need to talk about what P plus Q means. Now, P is some number of animals, and Q is some number of animals. Okay. So, P is the number of animals. In population 1. Q is equal to the number of animals in population 2. Okay. So for the sake of the video, let's think about um, some number of uh, the type of animals in population P. So we're going to call population P P is equal to number of wolves and Q is equal to number of deer. Okay, So let's think about that. Hopefully the example might help us. Okay, so P plus Q is now going to be the number of wolves, and Q is the number of deer. P plus Q, what would that mean? Well, taking the number of wolves and the number of deer and we're adding them together, we're combining them, which means that we're just saying that that will be the total number of animals from both populations. Or we can say that's the total number of wolves and deer together. Okay, so P plus Q. Now part B says that we need to think about what 2P means. Okay, 2P. So I have P is population of wolves. And 2p means twice the population of wolves. Okay. So p is the number of wolves. Therefore, we have 2p is twice the population of wolves. Part C, let's take a look at that one. We need P over P plus Q. Okay. P is equal to the number of wolves 
and Q is equal to the number of deer. Now if we take a look at these quantities P and over P plus Q, um, well we know P is the number of wolves, Q is the number of deer. We know that P plus Q is the number of animals from both populations. Okay, So if I have P, the number of wolves, over the total number of animals, we have a fraction. Okay. The fraction of the number of wolves. Out of the total population. Out of total number of animals. Okay. D is the expression of P plus Q over 2. Now we know that P plus Q is equal to the total number of animals. Okay. So if I divide that by 2, because P and Q are two different populations, we're actually taking a total over, divide by the total number of population, there are, so what, what P plus Q over 2 is, so yeah, so the 2 equal to number of types of animals. So P plus Q over 2 is equal to the average number of animals. in both populations. Okay. So E, let's take a look at E. E is the fra um, P over Q. Okay, we know that P is equal to a number of wolves, and Q is equal to the number of deer. Okay. So P over Q is a ratio. Okay. A lot of times wildlife um, specialists think about the ratio of the predator and prey populations, and so we need to know what P over Q is. So P over Q is the ratio of number of wolves to number of deer. Okay, and this is a balance that's important to keep in real life. Sometimes the if there's too many wolves and not enough deer, then there's issues, and if there's not enough wolves and too many deer, there's issues. So this is a good ratio, very applicable to real life. F is going to be Q minus P over 2. So we have Q is the number of deer. P is equal to the number of wolves. Okay. Q minus P over 2, what could that mean? So we're taking the number of deer and subtracting off a number of wolves and dividing that by two. Okay. So that so if there are we assume that any subtraction that goes on means that the number of wolves will be less than the number of deer. Okay. And so if we take away the number of the number of um, wolves to the number of deer. And that means we'll have two equal sized populations. Okay. So what it is is that you're taking the amount of number of 
wolves you have to take from the number of deer. Okay. And then divide by two, so there's two equal groups. Okay, so it's the number of wolves you have to take from the number of deer to get the same size population. Okay. And that's number 16. Okay, the next one, the other homework problem we'll go over is number 17. Now in number 17, we have, suppose P and Q give the size of two different animal populations, where Q is greater than P. In A through F, say which of the given pair of expressions is larger. Briefly explain your reasoning in the terms of the two populations. Okay, So we need to say which is larger. Now what we are going to compare in the first comparison, well, we're going to compare, um, let P equal the number of wolves, population P, and Q equal the number of deer. So this is, a, again, a pretty realistic situation because there are usually more deer than there are wolves in the given environment. So we're going to go and compare P plus Q and 2P. Okay. P plus Q compared with 2P. Okay. So because Q is greater than P, And this one is greater. We're going to add that to population P. And then this one is just twice P. Okay, so we're going to keep that in mind. We can actually uh, use algebra to help us with this one because we can rewrite our inequality to, to P plus Q compared with P plus P. Okay. And because of the uh, rules of algebra, we can subtract the population P, or the number of uh, wolves there are, from both sides of our inequality. And we can actually just, we, what we actually have left is Q compared with P. Okay. And so we know that Q is greater than P. So our answer is going to be greater than. But anyway, if you have population Q, which is more than P, and adding it to P, then you have, you also have two P's, the greater population will make this side with the Q and P greater than the side with just two P. Okay. So there's a couple of things there. So we can kind of uh, briefly say that because Q is greater than P, then P plus Q would be more than just P plus P. Okay. Part B. We're going to compare P divided by P plus Q. Compare that with 0 0.5. Now, P over P plus Q, what did that one mean? And that was a fraction that was a fraction of the number of wolves, the wolves over number of wolves out of the whole population. Total number of animals. Now, if that fraction is greater than 0.5 or 1 half, 
Well, we're going to consider whether it is or not. So is the, if q is greater than p, would the fraction be greater than half or less than half? Okay. So we're going to say that the fraction would be less than half because they're not the same. So if they were the same, it would be equal to half. But q, but q is greater than p, or meaning that p is less than q. Okay. And so the fraction of p to the total will be less than half. So if q is greater than p, or p less than q, then the fraction of, of the number of wolves to the whole population would be less than a half. Okay. Part C. P plus Q over 2. Compare with Q. Okay. Now P plus Q over 2 represented, so remember what that represents again is the average number number of wolves and deer average number of animals in both populations p plus q over 2 is the average number of animals in both populations and would the average be, uh, how would that compare with just the amount of Q? Now, if so, if Q was greater than P, then the the average would be less than the amount in Q. Okay. And the average number of animals, average number of animals in each population would be less than the number of deer. because the number of wolves is pulling that average down. going to compare P over Q to Q over P. Okay. Now recall that P over Q is going to be the ratio of number of wolves to number of deer. Q over P is the ratio of number of deer to number of wolves. And, and uh, because Q is greater than P, okay, 
we know that there, we know that p over q is going to be less than one. And we also know that q over p is going to be greater than one. Okay. Because of how proper and improper fractions. So we then therefore conclude that uh, p over q is going to be less than q over p. In part E, we're going to compare two expressions where P plus 0.3T is going to compare with uh, Q plus 0.3T. Okay. Now let's think about these uh, expressions here. We're adding on, we had Q and P, okay? So, because, okay, if Q is greater than P, P is gonna be less than Q. Because P is less than Q, then we're gonna use, we're just adding the same thing to both sides of this inequality. So by the, addition property of equality we know the values the 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 inequality won't change if the same thing is added to each side. Okay, and then we're going to say that the P plus 0.3T is less than Q plus 0.3T. Part f, we're going to compare these expressions, q minus p over 2, compared with q subtract p over 2. Okay, so these two expressions. Now, q minus p over 2, if we recall, from 16, q minus p over 2 was um, the amount that you have to take from population Q to, to give the P so that they're the same size. And so it's the amount from Q so P and Q are the same size. Okay. Then let's think about what Q minus P over 2 is. So we have the population Q, we're taking away half of P. So a population of deer minus half the wolf population. Okay, so how do these compare? 
will recall. Sorry about that. That's not too dizzy. Okay, so recall that um, because Q is greater than P. Okay. We can change. Let's go ahead and do some modification here. We We set Q minus P over 2 to be equal to Q over 2 minus P over 2. So we're going to compare them by separating out the fraction. Okay. So we're going to compare Q over 2 with minus P over 2 with Q minus P over 2. So Q over 2 minus P over 2. It's going to be more of an algebraic comparison. With Q minus P over 2. Okay. Notice that this one is Q over 2, and then this one's just Q. Okay. Smaller. Start here. Okay. You have a smaller start here compared to this one here, and so that means that it's got to be less than. So Q over Q minus P over 2 must be less than Q minus P over 2. Okay. So that's the uh, homework examples, and let me know if you have any questions.